we have three kind of big areas that we're focused on. Number one, we call cell protect. That is, how do you make the cells invisible? Could be encapsulation. The company Sauna, that's part of our venture fund, is doing gene edited cells. We think that's probably the holy grail. Taking away or reducing immunosuppression. We're funding another company called Eladon that is doing a much milder immunosuppressant that I think I would do. I think it's the side effects of diabetes are probably much worse than the side effects of this drug. So like I, I could envision like Vertex V1 and then you have these companies coming with, maybe it's the cells with less immunosuppression and of course a gene edited cell. So that's what we call cell protect. Cell source is another piece, which is Vertex has their cells, which seem to be functional, but we, we're big believers that competition drives innovation. We want multiple shots on goal. So I want to see multiple companies doing this, just like there's multiple device companies out there. The other part of this cell source is the manufacturability of this is hard. Like you may have seen, we had news um, recently with Civica, with the insulin project we're co-supporting. Affordable Atlantis coming to the market, biosimilar Atlantis, Jan 1. I went down and toured that facility. Making insulin is super complicated. It's super hard. Building that factory, getting it up to speed has been a huge lift. Try doing that for cells. It's a whole nother level of science. So we're funding, for example, a big project with the DOD in New Hampshire with Dean Kamen, guy who created the very first insulin pump and the sequel pump. They are doing a huge project on how do you take this cell manufacturing from, he calls it grandma's chicken noodle soup to Campbell's chicken noodle soup. 